So let's take a look at perhaps the champion with the most stripper name ever. To counter her, pick someone like Nami, since she can constantly misplace her and counter her poke. Velkos has enough distance not to be bothered by her and can still poke at the same time. And Sona is also pretty great because of her constant shields and ultimate stun. Alistar for his displacements, Morgana for her spell shields, and Blitzcrank because of her reduced mobility make other good counters too. In order to better understand this champion, let us start by explaining her ultimate. She starts the game with this ability unlocked and can upgrade it at 6, 11 and 16 like any other ultimate. When active it will slightly change her basic abilities. Her passive reduces her ultimate's cooldown every time she damages an enemy champion by up to 4 seconds with abilities and half that amount for auto attacks. Her Q fires a short burst of energy that strikes the first enemy hit and slows, and when ulted it will deal bonus damage as well as leave an area that detonates and strikes all enemies standing on top of it after a short while. Her W is a point click tether that deals damage and if she's able to keep it up for 2 seconds it will then root the target briefly. When ulted it will increase the root duration and heal karma in the process. Her E shields herself or an ally and it also gives the movement speed for 1.5 seconds. When ulted it will become an AoE shield that also gives the same movement speed boost to nearby allies. The fact that she essentially starts the game with 2 points in her abilities makes for a pretty good level 1 burst, so be careful for that enhanced Q anytime in lane, but minions can also protect you. As for spells, she will work best as a support damage champion, so Exalt or Ignite are the main candidates. Ignite works well against her if you're struggling to pick one. Finally in terms of power spikes, as I've mentioned before, her level 1 is pretty interesting and she'll almost always excel in the early and mid stages of the game due to her sheer raw damage output. That being said, level 6 isn't such a great power spike as many of the other champions of the game. Arden Sensor for these shield supports is always a big power spike, as well as redemption that will let her do a job even beyond the realm of the living. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, you can visually see when her ult is activated and she'll strike within 8 seconds of activating it. Avoid letting her harass you for free as it lowers her ult's cooldown and bait her out of mana so that she becomes virtually useless in lane. Ultimately, have fun doing it!